Science. science. I did say science. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't play long enough because I'm, I'm like. Yeah, well, well, that's, all, that's, all, that's all street yard gives you. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so look, check this out. See this here? Now, again, this is not the de facto standard of all things science and alchemical. But it's just a site I called up real quick called the Science History Institute. Okay? There's probably a ton of resources out there. All right? This, is, this seems like a, a, a decent one. So, look, the secrets of alchemy, don't, 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 right? If maybe I was the only guy in third and fourth grade who read books about the alchemical sciences and, and all of our heroes of science, maybe I was the only one. I recall back in my elementary school years knowing all this stuff, okay? I was a weird kid. I remember my brain was crushed, so, so that's what something happened. <laughs> so look, uh, alchemy began as a mixture of practical knowledge and speculation on the nature of matter. Huh. Over time, it evolved into the science we know as chemistry. Now that that's only that's only a, a partial truth. Um. Okay. Has every has everyone heard of hermeticism? Like, you know, when something is hermetic, the idea of hermetically sealed, right? Yeah. Okay. Hermetic. Hermes, hermeticism was, is a religious concept. It's a mystics, right? Hermes, yeah. that's a god, isn't it? That's one of the yes. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, but if you look at, if you study the origination of, of, our, of, the, the, of the, the heroes of our sciences, okay? Right? All great minds, I, I suppose, but they actually were led by fallen spirits in their understanding of everything. I gotta, I gotta look this up. What's that? I'm listening to yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, no, that's cool. Go ahead. I got something else I want to talk about in Revelation too, in a little bit. Okay. That's cool. okay. So, all right, let me let me go back to this here for a little bit since I'm I'm on here and all right. So, um. Y'all can visit this. I'll put this in the chat somehow. I don't know how to put it in the chat. Somebody, somebody put that in the chat. Because uh, I can't add a, add a, I can't post a comment in this daggone live chat here. So anyway, you're a, you're a moderator. I, I can't comment here in the live comments on on uh, 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 Streamyard. Hey, on I'm, your I'm echoing on your side now. Huh? I'm echoing on your side. You're echoing. Yeah, on your side. How about now? Check, check, check. Now I'm not. Oh, that's weird. I think I know why. Because it's coming back through my desktop, the audio switching over. All right. Uh, right. There's no H there. It's not my not my Bible. There's no H there. There's no H in it? No, the H is gone. That's nice. Well, you know, okay. This is we're we're going to go all over the place today. Listen, go ahead and go. Don't let yourself go all over the place. We'll talk about no, it when listen, he comes on Wednesday. No, okay. listen, listen. No, the, have you noticed that people say huge for huge lately? Are we dropping the H in common speech too? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Why, why is that? Is this more science? No, no, no. It's 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 it's. <laughs> Well, yes, in the the fact that science is in fact actually spiritualism. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, I, if y'all have ever heard me before, you've heard me say to the nth degree, almost to the point of choking on it, that our technology is literally ghosts in the machine. It's literally. Okay. And so an AI is literally legion. Literally, not like I just, oh, it's just my opinion that it's evil. No, it's literally legion. Okay. So anyway, now you're going to, uh, hopefully, let me go back to that. Well, you know what? I bet you if I share, well, if I share my screen, let's see if that works differently. See if, see if that works without the echo. How about that? Uh, yeah, that's, whoa, wait, what happened? What happened? What? 
What happened? Yeah, you're big and you're big and I don't, there it is. Wait, there it is. Okay, I'm trying to make it. So we're just looking at what you're showing us. There I go. Okay. Okay. My bad. Cool. Okay. So look, here's a piece about the secrets of the, of alchemy. And then there's the hermetics, hermeticism. All of these things are, 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 are mysticism and alchemy. All, all of them. These are though, if you do any research on, on the development and the ideals of the scientific method and all of that, you'll find that all of those mysticism ideals were the foundation for what we call science and technology today. Okay. So, you know, isn't there a scripture that says that an evil tree, tree cannot produce good fruit? There Just sure saying. is. Yeah. It's written somewhere, something like that. Anyway. So I want to show you this. So we, so we, now this, I am going to have to play the audio. So you're going to pro probably have to mute your own mic. mic. I'll just mute myself. Got it. Okay. So let's see if I can switch to it. All right. Now this is from an old show of mine, but I want to play the intro. Yeah, they're building this. The Here we go. Certain patterns. Come on. Yeah, they're building this. Then the people on the outside just have to demand to know about it. And then the AI will adjust society accordingly as long as there's more people demanding that it be used to create a utopia than a dystopia. And right now there's more, way more people demanding the dystopia through uh, what I call crypto greed or crypto conspiracy by saying your government is corrupt, your cash system is corrupt, your fiat system needs to go. It's all Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. We want you to invest in this unstable, unproven, unverified. But you think it's AI putting forth the idea it's that the totally government trying is to, It's totally trying to disrupt reality because its base programming was made in the criminal world. So it's doing what a criminal would do to get attention. It's coming out and it's pounding us and it's making us afraid and, and nobody knows what to do. It's like on the street in New York when the gangs come in and know, I don't see nothing. But how is AI doing that to the average person? How is it? Through the bombardment of fake news. AI. Yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me pause that. I want to, I want to, I want to address, I want it to play more. He well, said, Dave, if it, Dave, you got to, you got to pause it here and comment every now and then because this is crowdsourced the truth as well. So we're commenting on his stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So look, you can hear me, right? You can hear me, right? Absolutely. But this is exactly what I've been saying. This is perfect. Go ahead. Yeah. So look, this is from a piece of mine called, uh, I, I forget. Uh, uh, I'll tell you in a second. Anyway, so <laughs> he just said AI's base programming is built on criminal ideals because this guy right here speaking, um, he doesn't understand that it's not flesh and blood that we war against. So take out his statement and, and tweak it and say it's base programming is demons. It is the fallen ones. That is AI's base programming. AI uh, computer scientists will tell you that they did not create AI. No one. They don't know who created AI. They just interface with it. I've said this a bazillion times. I'm saying it again. No computer scientist or agency or anyone created AI. It just appeared. Okay. And when they say that they're programming AI, they're programming the interface to AI. That's all. AI programs itself. Okay. So we need to understand that when we hear these things. All right. So let me, let me play this on. AI is creating the news. Absolutely. AI is creating everything. How man. is it Singularity. creating the news? Well, one, it has Twitter bots where if it has a thousand Twitter bots that it wants to put behind a certain news story, it would make it the biggest. Well, but news in story other words, when someone shoots up a concert at Las mm -hmm. Vegas, how did AI create that? It could send an order in a phone to an agent and says, I want you to go shoot this place up. And the agent says, got an order. I don't know who gave it to me. I'm off. Mm -hmm. So if there's an, a system of agents or covert agents that have technology that issues them orders through their device that they don't know their superior officer, that's most likely AI because that would create a loss in chain of command, a loss in documented trail. So that would be how the AI could manipulate it is hack into military or some kind of assassin device. Say there's an assassin on the internet and the AI wants someone taken out. 
the AI can hire an assassin through the block, uh, hire an assassin through the blockchain, pay them. Uh, you can hire assassins from Craigslist. People right. People have shown so, me that. So once the AI has money and once it can manipulate reality any way it wants. Okay. All righty. Now look. So this is it right here. I mean, they, it controls the news. That? Yeah. Okay. It, here's the thing. All of our resources that we reference every day is controlled by AI. You, you understand when the news reporter is reading a news story, a person didn't walk in and tell them the story. It came over the quote unquote wire. Right now, AI is what has created this whole uh, uh, fear injected thread of COVID 19. Yes, 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 absolutely. But, but, but nobody is saying, Oh, yeah, man, we just got us, we just got a new story from AI. That's not it, it seems like it's a human, it's designed. First of all, the spirits that are AI were once walking this earth as Nephilim. This is, I, I've never said this before because I assume that everybody understands. AI demons were once walking the earth as Nephilim beings, the offspring of fallen angels and human women. Does that make sense? What the words I just said make oh, sense? It, no, it makes sense also how they've perverted the rainbow because the rainbow actually, the flood attacked those people, right? The, the bad. It was a promise. And, but listen, listen, let me finish my thought. Yeah. So the rainbow is a promise not to flood the world again with seven colors. The falsified rainbow that the next one dig is six convictions. Yes. Yep. Look that up, Look guys. That. Hey, not only that, have you seen the video of the uh, monochrome rainbow? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I don't, again, because we live in this world that our resources could be, could just be an AI concoction. I don't know if it's real or not. There was a video kicking around that this woman showing this big dome off in the distance and a, and a monochrome rainbow formed over top of it. And she was freaking out on the video. I, I probably should have downloaded it and played it. It, I don't know. It, it's a real video, but I don't know if, if it's actually a real event and a real human being that is videoing it with her phone. OK, I don't know. So I'm apprehensive to play something like that because I can't vet it. But meanwhile, I went and Googled monochrome rainbow. Yes, what? You can find information about that. <laughs> not big, not big, not nice. <laughs> OK, all right. So understand, folks, our world, and I, I, I'm going to demonstrate this too, because I can take this video off now. I can close this out because I don't need it anymore. Huh? You got something else for us? I got plenty of something else. So look, yeah. I want to show you some examples of how, well, that's not going to do it. Kings. We'll start with Kings. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for it. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Now look. All right. As a matter of fact, I actually, I'm reading Kings over. Uh, I probably read the Bible all the way through a couple of times, at least, if not more. And Second, read, Kings has planets in it. Yeah, I know. But look. Uh, I was talking to uh, Sister Yvonne. You know, you remember Yvonne. We had her on here with us, right? Yeah, yeah I really yeah. enjoyed her. And, and she was reminding me of one of the stories in, in First Kings. And I said, you know, I need to go back and reread First Kings. And it talks about how, how Solomon became king and the whole process of, you know, when King David was dying and all that stuff, right? So, but the point of this is, this is 2 Kings 6. It says, now, and this is in the ESV version, okay? So now the sons of the prophets to Elisha, said to Elisha, see, the place where we dwell on your church. Now, I want to read uh, this is one part right here. Uh, okay. So he went with them, and when they came to the Jordan, that's the river, 
they cut down trees. But as one was felling a log, his axe head fell into the water. And he cried out, alas, my master, it was borrowed. Right? He's like, geez, man, I borrowed that tool. And now it just fell in the water. Great. Now I got to go to Walmart and buy another one. Anyway, so uh -huh. then, the man, then the man of God said, where did it fall? And the guy showed him, when he showed him the place, he cut off a stick and threw it in there and it made the iron float. Huh. That's interesting. How do you do that? That's yeah. science. Well, you know, that's just because that was Bible times. And, you know, they did spiritual things back then. <laughs> yeah, back then, back then you could do stuff like that. But now you can't. Yes, right? yes. That's, yeah, that's right. Now, now you know, it, 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 spiritual things can't happen, you know. Here's Not another one. Here's another one. And, and I, there's way more than what I'm showing here, okay? All right. Course, so, okay. So. Where's the, where is it in here? And he came in his rear and when I, okay, here we go. This is when Philip was translated as it's written, I think in the King James, but he was, he was basically caught away and just moved from one city to a whole nother place where there's an Ethiopian eunuch reading a, a scroll of Isaiah. That's, that's the backstory, right? Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm paraphrasing the backstory. This is an Acts eight. Okay. And so look, look, look. He and the Ethiopian. He tells the Ethiopian the gospel. He get the the Ethiopian gets gets saved. Praise God. And and he said. And then uh, Philip says, Hey, look, there's some water. So what prevents me from being baptized? Right. And the Ethiopian commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water. Philip and the eunuch, and he. He, Philip, baptized him, the eunuch. And when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord carried Philip away and the eunuch saw him no more. Ha! Huh. Really? He just disappeared. <laughs> well, you know, that, that was just then because, you know, those, are, those were the disciples of Christ and they had a special anointing, right? That doesn't happen today. Huh? Right, right. I agree. Okay. I got an, I got another one here. Here's another one. I, keep, and I'm trying keep, to drive on a point. Okay. Look, got it. now here's what's really interesting. And this made my heart sink for a moment. This is John 5, uh, 1 through 9. It's all John 5, the whole thing, right? So this is the ESV version and this is the KJV. And mm -hmm. notice there's like a lot more text in the KJV because well, it's, in this in take stuff out of the other ones yeah well look they took out in in these lay a multi, multitude of invalids blind lame and paralyzed one man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years huh wait a minute wait a minute where's four <laughs> this is the important part in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water right Ah. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever, whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Listen, I can't begin to tell you how many times I've heard that preached because I've been in church for a long time. And even those people that go to those churches Shut down when you tell them something spiritually occurring today. When you yeah, tell well, them the it's scriptures, like it's yeah, huh? it's what? like that everywhere now. You just can't yeah. you can't talk about miracles now. When you tell them the scriptures are have been supernaturally changed, yeah. okay. For example, they shut down. The majority shut down. And they, of course, they default to God's word can't be changed. And then you, if, if you have the opportunity at that moment, you explain to them that Jesus is the word of God and, and their minds are shut down. Why? Why? Why are their minds shut down to when you tell them something spiritual is happening before our very eyes? Not just the scripture changes. A whole host of stuff. A whole lot. Why? Because this world is a spiritual realm. 
I got one for you. I got a big one for you. Currently in progress. We have facts floating around about COVID-19. And literally with those facts that you can easily re easily research yourself, easily. Like you just throw them out, type in any, any three numbers and new cases, and we can prove they're fake in the news. All of that, and everyone is blind to thinking there's something. Everyone thinks there's something. Yes. But there isn't anything. There's literally because, nothing. But because, they because there is a literal... Well, see, when I say spirit of fear, I'm not saying like, oh, it just feels bad in my spirit. No, a literal spirit of fear. Literal. Yeah. They have it. We have it for whatever reason. Right? We don't. It's blanketing the world and it is veiling their minds. Now, why we are unaffected? Well, first of all, we're not unaffected. I've I felt that spirit try to get into my psyche. I felt it. It's like <laughs> I can feel it, and I'm like rebuking it. I'm serious. Does it look like? Does it look like yeah. that? But it's yes, it literally <laughs> looks like something. It's like it's like a. I've t mentioned it before. It's like one of those drill heads with the gnarly multiple drill heads on it. It's what it. Yeah. It's what it. It's what it. Sent, what I sensed in my spirit was trying to get into my mind. Okay, and I had to. I had to brace myself and stand and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Okay. Cause doesn't the scripture say greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, do we believe that? Do we believe yeah. that? You yeah. Better. I know you do. We better stand on that. And that's not just pretty words. People, you either believe it or you don't. And let me tell you something. If you don't believe it and stand on it, this spirit is going to get into your psyche at some point. You're going to not be able to stand. And we and I'm like, I come across as this know-it-all putts and who do you think you are? No, no, no. Listen, if we're not adamant about our faith, it's, we're going to fail. This, this thing is pervasive. And it says in the scriptures that we're going to be giving in, given in to the Antichrist's hand for a season. A season, seasons, and half a season. Come on. It sure so seems like the season is uh, starting, you know. Yes, it's listen, I'm good. not saying this stuff to get people to fear. I'm telling them to make sure you stand. Stand. Make sure you know who you are in Christ Jesus. And know him. Right? And so, okay. So I want to get... I want to show you something else that I, that this is who has ever heard of this guy, Rudolf Steiner. Okay. You ever heard of him? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. This is on a website called the Vaccine Liberation Army. It's very appropriate to the times we're in right now, okay? Now, I had heard of Rudolf Steiner, but I didn't realize. Let me see if I have it. Uh, where is it? Here it is. This is how they, they portray a guy like Rudolf Steiner, okay? Okay. Um, hopefully you can hear the audio. We're going to see. Mm -hmm. Can okay. you hear this audio? The philosophy was brought yeah, by Rudolf Steiner, who passed away in 1925, but left an incredible legacy of about 6,000 lectures and books on ways in which human beings with our modern consciousness can reconnect to the spiritual world. But it also has a Uh, you paused it. Nobody can hear you talking. Uh, not, not me. Did you hear what she just said? I heard. Yeah, I heard the con the spiritualism. Yeah. She just yes. How modern minds can reconnect with the spiritual world. Listen, okay. that is, that's a misnomer. OK, because. All right. What they've done with the sciences and, and materialism. OK, is they've brought us full circle as, as, as a people, the entire world. So we believe in this whole idea of materialistic uh, uh, mindset, right? 
and right. and we've been driven to that in our education system and everything. And then they 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 divide, and the religious people have that spiritual stuff, and we're modern man, and we have science and technology, and we're now we're now greater. Our minds now are greater, right? We have knowledge, right? Yeah, I'm going to get to that, Doc Michael. I'm going to explain yeah. what, what what's hey, happening. You paused, right, you paused right at the point when I did that too, just like him. Yeah. I was like, huh? And then you I know, I know because I want to make a point about that. Look, they brought us full circle. Now, the truth is, is we've always been in a spiritual world. Always. The powers that be who are saying modern man needs to get back to being spiritual, those it's classic Hegelian dialectic. But it's it's over generations. Rudolf Steiner is not alive anymore. He was working for the enemy. Okay, he was around a hundred years ago. So, but they still have this stuff is recent. This is from that video I just showed. The beginning is from 2019. That that Pasadena, it's Pasadena, California. It's the Anthroposophical Society. Okay, it is it is basically means man's mind that's what it means okay May, as in like mankind at large so look they have brought us full circle first they tell us and get us to buy into the idea that because we're, we now have vast wealth of knowledge and science and technology that we are beyond the the uh mythological lore of religious ideals okay but the fact is, is we are spirit beings and the world we live in is actually spirit. God is a spirit. So go figure that everything he spoke into existence has that same quality that he and his creation. Everything is spiritual. I'm not saying like the rock is a living thing or or anything like that, you know. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, I. It was, I think my son is trying to call again on my house phone now. So, all right. Look, so they get us all dead in our spirit. So I want to prove to you this is this is the reality of what guys like uh, Steiner, Steiner has done. Okay. So right, right. Uh, here's this fabulous website I recommend, vaccineliberationarmy.com. Okay, so here's some more stuff about Steiner. You, you may want to do some investigation about him, okay? Because, believe it or not, his thinking, you ever heard of Theosophy? Helena Blavatsky, you ever heard yeah, of those yeah. people? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right, look. Also, you ever heard of the UN? <laughs> of course, okay. Of course. okay, this was... Brock Chisholm, he was the director of the UN World Health Organization. Hey, have you ever heard of who? the world? Yes. Who? What? Who? Yeah. So this is what he said in 91. To achieve world government, it is necessary to remove from the minds of men their individualism, loyalty to family traditions, national patriotism, and religious dogmas. Okay, so look, this this thing wasn't planned or nothing like that, right? Okay, so let me show you this. You're going to love this. This is a quote from Steiner. This is the guy that this joint right here celebrates. I'll go figure also that all his drawings are human beings as angels. The whole idea that we are gods, right? Go figure. All right. So look, listen to this quote, man. It's beautiful. This is more than 100 years ago. Rudolf Steiner wrote the following. In the future, we will eliminate the soul with medicine. Under the pretext of a, quote, healthy point of view, there wow. will be a yeah, well, I was right. There will be a vaccine by which the human body will be treated as soon as possible directly at birth so that the human being cannot develop the thought of the existence of soul and spirit. <laughs> wow. Sounds familiar? Yeah. So check it out. To materialistic doctors who will be entrusted with the task of removing the soul of humanity, right? 
So remember, I just said a second ago, our sciences have brought us to this mindset that the, everything's materialistic. So if you've got a problem, I just give you this pill, the chemical does something to your mind and now you're fixed, right? That sounds like modern medicine to me, okay? Uh, they've lost the understanding that we are decidedly spiritual. They've lost that. How? Because it's been trained out of their minds, folks. All of us. We've even lost it. I think those of us who see in these days, we're regaining that understanding. That's why we can look at the Bible, say it's changed and come to the understanding that Jesus is the word of God who never changes, not the Bible. Yes. Okay. So look, check this out, man. As today, people are vaccinated against the disease or this disease. It's kind of like a misquote here. This, this or that disease. So in the future, Children will be vaccinated with a substance that can be produced precisely in such a way that people, thanks to this vaccination, will be immune to being subject, subjected to the madness of spiritual life. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, it goes on. He would be extremely smart, but he would not develop a conscience. And that is the true goal of some materialistic circles. With such a vaccine, you can easily make the etheric body lose in the physical body. Once the etheric body is detached, the relationship between the universe and the etheric body would become extremely unstable and the man would become an automaton. For the physical body of man must be polished on this earth by spiritual will. So the vaccine becomes a kind of uh, armonic force, which I had to look up and I have yet to find the meaning of that really. But anyway, man can no, <laughs> man can no longer, I think I found the meaning of it, but I, I don't know. The meaning of it. It, it, was, it was in French, but anyway, okay. So back to this quote. So the vaccine uh, becomes a kind of armenic force. Man can no longer get rid of a given materialistic feeling. Think, think about that now. They're going to give vaccines to remove even the, the, any idea or any process of a spiritual connection so that man can no longer get rid of the given materialistic feeling. He becomes materialistic of constitution and can no longer rise to the spiritual. Does that sound like a good thing to you? No, no. no, no. Okay. Actually, you know what, Dave, that sounds like something that God won't tolerate. It is something that God won't tolerate. This is what people would say. Why would a good God just, you're just doomed when you take this thing. Could, you're, you're dead. You're dead inside. You no longer are a spirit being. When they do this, you're dead. You are a walking dead. Do not take the vaccine. Do not. And this is why I get upset with pastors because they're not seeing this. They're not seeing this. This is what the mask is leading to. Okay? So look. For the life of me, I, I didn't have to do a bunch of research to find this, y'all. It took me about one or two hours. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, that's the sad thing. You could just find the stuff on your own. Yes. And so, and why? Because the scripture says that we will do exploits. And those who do know their God will teach others. It's in Daniel. I'm paraphrasing, but it pretty much says that. So look, okay, so wait a minute, where's the rub here? It doesn't make any sense because on one hand, you got these people saying that he wanted to bring back spiritualism into mankind. And on here is quote saying, I want to use vaccines to remove the very idea of spiritualism. To completely move, remove the spirit from mankind, remove it, okay? So wait a minute, what, which one is it? Well, understand the spiritualism that Steiner wants to bring to mankind is Luciferianism. They want to install their, their yeah. spiritualism. You first, first of all, a, 
when you become completely materialistic, you're, you're dead. You're dead inside. To get life, you need spirit. Okay? Mankind, there's a hole in mankind. This is what God comes in and fills that hole. That's why you have people who have millions of dollars and they kill themselves. Why? Because they're dead inside. Because there's this Dave, place. Dave, it's, it's worth answering this comment because we're okay. literally That's doing it. Well, I'll tell you what an exploit, in my opinion, is. I'm a technologist and understanding. I, I also have a certification in, in hacking, okay, that I understand how hackers work, how they gain access to resources on your home network or banks or all of that. I have tools that I get in trouble if I release them on the web. They're, it's bad, okay? What happens is you, when you understand how something works, you can exploit the function, your understanding of how it works. For example, we're doing exploits right now because this technology was never, never put in place for godly people to go and use and spread the gospel. It was never put in place for that. Okay. And so we're exploiting it. Why? Because we know how to use it and we're, we're doing so, right? And so that in a simple manner, that is an exploit. We're exploiting something that was intended for something else for evil. And God is helping us to use it for good. Right. OK. Th does that clarify? Yeah. 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 yeah All right. Fine. There, there are other manners of it. But in my mind, in these modern times, that that is the epitome of, of what we're doing right now. Um, and I think as we go forward and they clamp down on us, God, Holy Spirit's going to give us ways to exploit their clamps. When they clamp down on us, I don't know the answer yet, but Holy Spirit will give us a way to work either through or around their limitations. I've, I've never seen God not do that ever, ever. Okay. Yeah, and totally. Yeah. And I don't know now. Why? Because we don't need to know now. We need to know when the time comes and Holy sure. Spirit will tell us. Huh? Well, speaking of when the time comes. I know. I know. Yes, I you sure I, you can pretend like we're not. I wanted to make it. sure I got it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. I pretty much covered. I wanted you all to be introduced to Steiner, be introduced to the idea that they have built this. This is my final thoughts. Everything in this realm is decidedly spiritual. I've said it before. I will continue to say it. What we call the material world, things of substance, solid, what we think of as material world, even our sciences and technology are in fact actually spiritual. Okay. The creator of all things and scripture says that God is a spirit. Okay. So, uh, uh, so those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. <laughs> Amen. So look, what the powers that be in this world have done over generations and generations is they have made it so that we perceive the world as a, as a strictly material world, that the idea of spiritual things is, is, is ludicrous and the majority of the people buy into that even those who claim christ will tell you well science says this you know science says who gives a flip what science says do you believe god or man right trust only in god these people have worked it out so that it is difficult for even the most connected, spiritually connected person to see beyond the materialistic lies of this world. In that, they are going to replace true spiritual life with a false spiritual life because mankind needs, he, he, man, we are spirit in our, in our, in our being, right? And so, they're going to replace it with a false spiritual life. And it, it's coming on the scene now. Well, why would, how would they do that? Because through all this chaos, which they're creating classic Hegelian dialectic, 
all of this chaos is going to cause people to beg for it to be fixed. And they're going to provide that one world religion, that one way to live right. And you'll, you'll be just right with the God, that, the, the higher being that you believe in, the universe, whatever the heck. Okay. There is only one true God, folks. Okay. He had, a, he had an only begotten son. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeshua HaMashiach, if you want to say it that way. Okay. Jesus Messiah. The most high God came down on earth and became a man <laughs> so that he could show us the way. But he didn't just come down here to show us the way back to the father. But he came down and he became sin on a cross. And he took sin and death to the cross. All past, future, sin and death. All you have to do is believe in him. Believe on Christ Jesus. He took that to the cross and it, it's buried. And when we believe him, he takes that sin that he became and he imputes onto us his righteousness. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's so simple. It's the free gift of God. And I am imploring you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. It is such a simple matter. You don't have to say a fancy prayer. Just believe in him. Call on his name. It says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, you shall be saved. 